Now let's talk about house fires. Smoke detectors. Install smoke detectors on each level of your home. Test smoke detectors once a month. Change batteries one, once a year and keep them clean. Fire extinguishers. They should be in the central part of the house or near the kitchen. And you want to check the gauge indicating if it's charged. It's this thing right up here. Let me enlarge it. And you see where it's green right here. That's the optimal range right there. Uh, here it's pointing at zero so it needs to be recharged but it shouldn't be overcharged as well so if it's low it has to be uh, recharged and remember the pass system so I have a video here P pull the pin this will also break the tamper seal A aim low pointing the extinguisher nozzle at the base of the fire S Squeeze the handle to release the extinguishing agent. S. Sweep from side to side at the base of the fire until it appears to be out. So that comes from Pasadena Media. Now, I just want to uh, reiterate what they said. Make sure that you aim at the base of the fire. Not in the middle and not up here, but at the base of the fire and sweep side to side. Okay, so the fire escape plan mark two fire escapes uh, from each room to uh, of the house. So uh, the best case scenario is that nothing is blocking your door so that you could have an easy access out. That's the primary escape path. But if something is blocking uh, your door, uh, then you have the secondary escape path, which is uh, through the window. And also have escape ladders on uh, the upper floors, just like uh, this image right here. And also pick a safe place outside of your house to meet at, like a tree, mailbox, or, or whatever. So at home you have to uh, conduct a fire drill at least two times each year. Uh, that's recommended so that you could uh, maximize your preparedness. Here's some fire safety tips. Keep the bedroom door closed while sleeping. That could help save lives. It could add about 10 or 20 um, more minutes. Um, according to the door because each door is graded so that will actually help uh, keep the smoke and the flames out it will provide a barrier uh, consider installing a sprinkler system replace smoke detectors every 10 years of course don't forget to keep on checking it and replacing the batteries if you are unable to escape a room call 911 and indicate where you are or place a bright colored cloth at the window Feel the door with where? The palm of your hand or the back of your hand? Make a guess. It would be the back of your hand. It's less sensitive uh, than the palm. And you want to always check that prior to exiting uh, through the door. And you want to crawl your way out because heat rises. Uh, you want to uh, feel uh, the door toward the middle of the door and then work your way down. Make sure it's not uh, too hot and of course be very uh, careful with the doorknobs since the doorknobs are metallic therefore they're uh, better conductors of heat and electricity versus wood so if you touch a doorknob and it's super hot then it may very well burn you and once you have left the house stay out uh, don't run back for your most prized possession or, or whatnot um, your life is more important a couple of extra safety tips are CO detectors. CO stands for carbon monoxide, which is an odorless, tasteless, and invisible gas, which means that you can't smell, taste, uh, feel, detect, see, or whatever. It's actually a killer, so you want to have uh, this alarm. It works like a, a, a smoke detector, and sometimes there's a hybrid smoke detector slash carbon monoxide alarm and it's good to have um, otherwise you might experience flu-like symptoms uh, among other things so it's it's very good to have and may save a life another thing is is uh, don't be in a closed garage uh, with a running car uh, because you know the the car exhaust would fill um, the garage to high levels of toxins and then you're breathing that in and you might get lightheaded you might faint and and might literally suffocate uh, in there, so uh, don't do that. So items for a disaster supply kit. 
uh, not just for tornadoes, house fires, or hurricanes, but you know, there's earthquakes and, and floods and other uh, disasters that could happen. A first aid kit, required medication, and important uh, documents such as med medical documents and such. Canned food in a can opener. Three gallons of water per person. Protective clothing. Bedding or sleeping bags. A battery powered radio. A flashlight and extra batteries. And special items for infants, the elderly, or the disabled. That could be puzzles, Sudoku games, or or word search.